Hello there. So, the Nintendo Switch 2 has apparently been leaked. And, like, that's fantastic. Can't wait to see a new Nintendo Switch soon, hopefully. Um, anyways, let's just talk about what this Switch will bring to the table. So, apparently, the leaks of the Nintendo Switch 2 is that it's going to have a foldable screen, kind of like the 3DS. And that's pretty crazy to see. A foldable screen. You can play so many games in so many different ways. But, to be honest, how is that going to work in the dock? If you fold the screen down, how are the games that require the second screen going to work on the dock? Are they going to pull something like the Wii U situation that you need an entire controller that had a screen? I mean, that would be a pretty cool idea. For handheld mode, you got the two screens, they flip up kind of like a Samsung flip phone. But for the dock mode, you put it in, you put your your screen you face it down you put it in the dock and then you have one of these special controllers like a wii u gamepad that kind of acts in the same way i think that would be pretty cool the nintendo switch of course the console is entirely inside the handheld device again like we see in the switch but in a way i think that games that work with two screens are actually the best types of games because Having two screens there, like the 3DS games, those games are fantastic. Playing The Legend of Zelda, just instead of pausing the game, you can just drag your finger and boop, put in there. Let's just say you're playing with your Wii U. That's the same thing. Push mo. You you can look at the screen, you can look at the gamepad, touch on the gamepad, whatever. So seeing this in the next Nintendo console would be fantastic. Hopefully the leaks are right, because I would for one like to see that again having two screens on a device maybe if this is the case they'll bring back 3ds game fan favorite 3ds and wii u games will work perfectly on the nintendo switch 2. let's just say that we're gonna bring over a link between worlds the legend is of the link between worlds and being able to play that game on two screens would be amazing you don't ever have to pause the game there you go. You can just play, drag and drop your things wherever and keep on playing. Maybe this would be a cool concept. And hopefully these leaks and rumors are true. Because, oh boy, wouldn't that be cool? But to be honest, I don't know if it would. Because then, of course, it's not going to be as powerful as anything else could be. Like, let's just say you're taking a full console and you're building it into no it's not going to be the same because like it's built into a handheld but to be honest the handheld market is a really strong powerful devices but that's not to say that that's no playstation 5 or xbox series x but nintendo is in kind of in their own world of gaming they don't care about power they care about family fun games and this is probably the best type of games because then you can just have fun play them play the games that you like with your family and you're good with a playstation you gotta browse through the entire store to find a family game because like oh boy good luck finding a family game there it's mostly all fps games and stuff like i don't know i don't know what do you think about this do you think that nintendo's pretty good where they are it would be cool to have a double screened handheld device that you could also put in the tv or do you think it would be better to have scrap the double screens and just have a super powerful device i don't know let me know in the comment section down below and yeah thanks so also the nintendo switch is the reason why it probably blew up in 2017 is because you were able to take your device the entire console was inside the device you can take it and go wherever you want with it Hey, if you wanted to go and sit on the toilet while you're playing some Mario, go on. You can do that. You can bring your console wherever you want. I mean, that's not to say that you couldn't do that with just a regular old console. Like, let's just say you got your your Xbox. Yay, your Xbox. You got your Xbox Series X or something. That's not to say that you couldn't do that. You could, of course, bring an entire TV with a couple HDMI cords and a power bar and stuff in a giant monitor to the bathroom that's not to say that you couldn't do this but like that's a big hassle with the nintendo switch you can just take it off the dock and bring it wherever you want so what does this mean for nintendo what does this mean so this means a couple things a couple big things 
Nintendo is beloved. Beloved company, beautiful handhelds. And like every single handheld or every single device that they have has to have a gimmick. Of course, when they didn't merge the handheld and home console together, every single thing had a, had a device so or a different gimmick. So, of course, we're going to start off with the entertainment, Nintendo Entertainment System. We had cool, funky little controllers for Super Nintendo. We had uh, purple, uh, yeah, Game Boy. We had Game Boy stuff. I don't know. But, like, DS, we had the flip screens. So, everything has to have a cool little gimmick. The Switch was you could put it in the TV, and there you go. The Wii was you can use the motion controls to do the thingy on the TV. The Wii U was the gamepad. Whole bunch of things. Beautiful. And having these leaks come out and things, but I mean, to be honest, we have been getting leaks for a long time, long, long time, Nintendo, but maybe some of them are true. And if they are true, that would be fantastic. I'm actually really excited for this because I can't wait to be able to play 3DS games on double screen on a more powerful system and on a HD TV. Imagine being able to see The Legend of Zelda a link between world on the newest Nintendo console. This would be fantastic because instead of shutting down the shop with the 3DSs and never bringing them again to any other console because they can't support it and it's not going to be the same. Woo! That was a rush of stuff. You can bring back to these double screen Nintendo system. The Nintendo Flip. The Nintendo Flip. I like that. So bring it over to the Nintendo Flip. And maybe... We can see some cool stuff happening. Well, imagine re-experiencing the game of double screen enjoyment. That's probably like the best games because no other company feels like that. You have to either pause the game and look at the bottom screen or you have to do, even though pausing the game is not even that bad, or it's just not fun. Some of them ut utilize the bottom screen so well. It was a map, so you can just look down. Hey, it's a map. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Instead of having it stuck in the corner, jibby jab in the corner, and like, yeah, anyways. It's it's cool. And also, some games had a, like a thermal camera or something. That was a Wii game, I think. Thermal camera? It was, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool, don't get me wrong. So, yeah. I think it would be awesome to see the Nintendo Flip. Hopefully, this is a real console. And hopefully, it comes out this year. I want to see it in October. October. Let's hope that we get the Nintendo Flip in October. I think that would be a cool and good timing. Because if Nintendo can get themselves ahead of the game, imagine how many more people are going to buy their Switch. It's going to go up, 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 up. Instead of they release it in a jam crowded full of people, it's just, it's not going to see the light of day. It's just going to be stuck in the darkness. But, of course, some people are going to spread the word and stuff. But if they release it this year, there's nothing going on. So the Nintendo Flip would suit well. Like, of course, next year we got GTA 6. We potentially have a PS6 or a PS Pro or something. We got a Xbox something. We got a whole bunch of games and consoles and stuff coming out next year. So if Nintendo wants to, they can bring this new Nintendo Flip to the tables this year and we can have some fun with it because remember how it was in 2017 nothing was out and nintendo dropped the bomb the nintendo switch is out now go pre-order it everybody was running to their store and getting themselves their nintendo switch nintendo switch so fantastic and there it is at the top besides the ps2 still beating it but maybe they're waiting for that that can be another topic that we could go on but anyway if you enjoyed and agree that Nintendo Flip should come out this year, or maybe it's even called a Nintendo Flip, consider dropping a like. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry I failed you. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And with that being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. And yeah, see you in the next one.